Let's talk about bluegill, everybody's favorite first fish. They're easy to catch, fight hard, and there are a bunch of them in every farm pond in the state. And oh yeah, they're plenty good eating too. So what's not to love about bluegill? Well, way back in June of 1963, 11-year-old Mike Giovannini was thinking about bluegill, like he did just about every day on the way to the local farm pond. Armed with his Zebco and a can of worms, he was thinking about slaying some fish. So you're using lighter equipment fishing for bluegills, so they still put up a fight. And uh, bluegill, they are far more abundant than many of those larger fish, so uh, in terms of action, you're probably catching more fish. Bluegill typically can get to about nine and a half inches, and in terms of weight, typically around 12 ounces, so it doesn't even reach a pound. Well, back in 1963, nobody had told Mike how big a bluegill should be. All he knew was that he had just hooked into something serious. I didn't even know it was a record. I just knew I had a big fish. Probably bigger than anything I'd ever caught before. That's right. 53 years later, Mike Giovannini is still enjoying his trophy. A three pound, zero ounce bluegill. The Missouri State record. A three pound bluegill is exceptional, and I think the, the record standing for 53 years really highlights that. Most likely it is a result of the perfect storm of prey abundance for bluegill and the right amount of uh, predation on bluegill by largemouth bass that's uh, lessened the competition. It would not surprise me that the record for bluegill would stand for another 53 years. It was a lot of luck. Uh, I, I mean, uh, to catch a record fish, uh, it's, it's a lot of luck. My dad, he, he had enough foresight to know that it probably was a record fish. Uh, he took the fish over there and they verified it, the, the game warden at that time, and he verified it that it was a record fish, and, and uh, we got it mounted, and it's all history from there. Uh, uh, I've always enjoyed the out of doors and tried to instill that into my son, and into my grandson, and we just, you know, bringing it on down, uh, right down the generations. To prove that point, the young man reenacting Mike's 1963 record catch was his 11-year-old grandson, Dominic, an avid angler in his own right, hoping that next record-breaking fish might end up on his line. 